All right, so y'all already know what time it is. We got to do our pre-trip inspection. You know, you got to check your oil. You got to check your tires. So let's do that. All right, so once again, we fueling up before the trip. Gotta get a full tank before um, I head anywhere just so I don't have to make any extra stops and delay myself any more than I already am. So this load is a one pick three drops. Um, it's actually picking up in New Jersey and it's going all the way to Pennsylvania. The good thing about these three drops is that they're all within a 10 minute vicinity of each other. So I really don't have to go far from Jersey to Pennsylvania. It's only about 200 or so miles. Let's see how much we filled up with. $195. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that tank is full because this truck takes way more than $195. But, see, I told you it wasn't done. This truck takes way more than $135 or $195. Had to run that hose all the way down there. Shout out to my guy right there. But, we're about to grab the receipt and get up out of here for real, for real. So supposedly I've arrived at the location. Now I just gotta find the shipping and receiving door. So they could tell me where to park. That's what I'm about to do. I'm really about to just park up on one of these park up on five I'm about to just park up and worry about other stuff later boom in there now I don't know if y'all could tell or not but in the 20 minutes that I've been driving over here it started snowing I see the little flakes. It started snowing, so I'm about to run inside. Um, I'm about to show my paperwork that I have on my phone, the rate confirmation with the pickup number, the order number, so that they can load me up and I can start heading to Pennsylvania. All right, so that gentleman right there just came and took all of my information, my driver's license, my insurance. He took a picture of my license plate just for, I guess, safety purposes. All right, so update. They actually told me that I don't need to load myself up. Um, when I was speaking to the broker on the phone, they told me I needed a pallet jack. They have the electric pallet jack. So we good money on that. You know, I, shit, I don't mind sitting in my truck um, and waiting for them to load me up. I'm gonna be honest. It's snowing outside and everything, but it's really not even that cold. Um, when the nighttime hit. <laughs> I got to stop at like three different stores in PA. It's only about 200 miles paying super, super amazing. Um, I'm going to give you guys the details once I arrive over there. Now, another thing I really like about this load is I just got in contact with a direct shipper. Right? For those of you guys that don't know, when you get in contact with a direct shipper, you're pretty much cutting out the middleman. Right? So when there's a shortage of loads or where there's loads that aren't paying that well, if you have a direct shipper, you go straight through them. So for those of you guys that are new into the trucking business or that are new, um, pretty much using these load boards um, and contacting different um, companies, different brokers, different dispatchers and whatnot to get loads, try your best. I say this all the time, um, connections is key in this in, in this industry, in this business. If you can get in contact with a couple direct shippers, your trucks are always gonna be moving. This is where you need to be proactive and you need to be reliable as well. Cause if they can see that you can pick up these loads on time and you can also drop them off on time and you're always available when they need, um, then they're gonna be sending you all the work. Um, which this was the main goal with these box trucks taking these trucks over the road um, my main goal was to get in contact with a direct shipper so my trucks are always moving i always get called first i always get the best rates 
All good to go? I'm good, brother. That's your copies? Awesome. I just need you to sign these. Okay. There's that. Here's your pen. Appreciate it, boss. We got the gold. All right, so I lied. We're not leaving just yet. I need to see how they loaded me up um, to see if I can strap these things down. Can't forget your straps. Make sure that's not tidy. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah. All right, so right now we are on a 6% upgrade, which means it's a very steep hill. Like the hill is kind of like this. When you come across stuff like this, you usually see all the trucks on the right lane. Don't get me wrong, we dugging it out though. I gotta lie, this little box truck be pushing it, no cap. Right, so supposedly I have arrived to the first pickup supposed to be one of these warehouses yeah it should be one of these somewhere back here maybe it's all the way at the end Just got unloaded it was only one pallet all right so we just waiting on my guy to bring me back that paperwork sign um and we're gonna go ahead and get on to the next one i have another drop so i'm not gonna be able to drop off my third load today just because i did get caught up in some traffic and i'm not gonna make it in time um but it actually works out pretty good for me because i didn't have a load going back up north yet um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop off the second load which is um those two skids if i'm not mistaken and then we're gonna stay in pennsylvania for the night and then tomorrow morning we're gonna find a load going back up north um somewhere towards new jersey so that we don't have to drive back empty i'm already talking to the direct shipper and they are informing me that they're gonna find me something for tomorrow thank you sir i appreciate it awesome pod time for me to get up right y'all so the direct shipper actually came in super super clutch um i wasn't going to be able to drop off the second drop today but the direct shipper got in contact with a warehouse nearby that was willing to take the second drop and let the customer come and pick it up tomorrow all right so i just checked in and this is something kind of new i'm in the warehouse by the way they gave me labels and they said i have to label my own fright um oh here i am boom so what i have to do i have to put a label on each one of the pallets that they're taking off my truck um so i'll show you guys that here in a sec Paperwork is signed. They just took two pallets off of the truck. That was drop number two. And then we have drop number three, which is gonna be tomorrow morning, which is another two pallets. And then we're going back up north. All right, so it is the next morning and I'm on my way to the third and last drop off. Um, like you guys saw, I was able to drop off my second load last night, thanks to that direct shipper for finding a warehouse. Um, sheesh, look at this hot shot though. That's not even a hot shot. What the fuck? Man's got a Chick fil A. <laughs> He's hauling a Chick fil A sign, bro. Nah, that's lit. This man is hauling a Chick fil A sign. But yeah, we on the way to the third drop off. Alright, so we just arrived at the third drop. 
and this is a storage unit customer is right there we're gonna go drop this off somewhere in here All right, y'all, so we just finished up the delivery inside um, one of those little storage units that was the last pallet that I had to drop off. Um, so I just got a call from one of my brokers and I found a load going from New Jersey back up to New York. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to go pick up load number two. It's only an hour away from where I'm from, so the deadhead is minimal. Um, definitely stay tuned for part two. Let's go.